Welcome to this LibreOffice Calc lesson on conditional formatting. In Calc, cells can be formatted if certain conditions are met. For example, in this table, I want the background color of a cell in the sales column to change when the sales are $100 or more. To do this, first drag and highlight the sales column, E2 to E12, then click the Conditional Formatting button on the toolbar, or use the shortcut, hold down Alt and press OOC. In the dialog that comes up, change the condition in the drop-down to greater than or equal to. Then type 100 in the text box next to it. In the drop-down next to Apply Style, you can apply a style already created, or if you want to create a new style, click the drop-down and press N. In the Cell Style dialog, give the style a name. I'll call it Green Background. Then click the Background tab and choose a light green color. I'll choose this one. Click OK. It gives you a preview of what it will look like right here. Now click OK. Now the cells with values $100 or over display a green background. You can add more conditions. I'll make the background of the cells red that are below $50. To get back to the Conditional Formatting dialog, go to the Format menu, choose Conditional Formatting, then choose Manage. Or a better choice is to learn the shortcut. Hold down Alt and press OOM. There's the condition I just made. Click Edit at the bottom. Now we're back to the dialog. Click the Add button. In the drop-down, choose Less Than, then type 50 in the text box. Click on the Apply Style drop-down and press N. We'll call it Red Background. Under the Background tab, choose a light red color, like this one. Click OK. Click OK again, and click OK yet again. And there you go. With conditional formatting, you can make important values stand out in a table. Conditional formatting can also be used on text. Drag and highlight column B2 to B12. Hold down Alt, press OOC. For the condition, change it to Contains. Then in the text box, type quote, Allen, end quote. Always use double quotes around text. The text box will turn yellow to warn you if you forget. And it is case sensitive, so I capitalize the A. In the Apply Style dialog, I'll just choose the green background I created before. Click OK. This is a handy tool if you're looking for a particular item in a large data set. Another condition that's available is the date. Drag and highlight A2 to A12. Hold down Alt. Press OOC. Change cell value is to date is. In the condition drop down, I'll choose yesterday. Then for style, I'll choose the green background again. Click OK. And now yesterday's date is flagged. Moving on to color scale formatting. This will make a range of cells display different background colors depending on their values. Here's an example. I'll drag and highlight the numbers 1 to 10 in this column. You could click the Conditional Formatting Color Scale button or use the shortcut. Hold down Alt, 
press OOS. There's a choice of two or three entries for the scale. The entries are the colors used in the scale. The default is three colors. The center value is a percentage. It's set at 50%. I'll leave it on the default and click OK. As you see, the colors fade from one to another as the values get higher. I'll apply it to this table of sales. Drag and highlight D2 to D13. Hold down Alt. Press OOS. I'll just do two colors this time and change the blue to a green. Click OK. The highest sales are in green, the middle are a kind of olive, then the lowest sales are in red. Next are data bars. These can be quite useful. A cell will display a bar with a length depending on its value in the range of cells. First select a cell range in this table. B2 to B11. Click the Conditional Formatting Data Bars button, or use the shortcut. Hold down Alt, press OOD. I'll just leave it at the default settings. Click OK. There you are. A far better way of doing this is putting the bars in the column next to the values. Here's how. Click Alt. OOM to get to the manager, click Remove, then click OK to get rid of the bars. Now in cell C2, type equals B2, then press Enter. Click C2 again and drag the fill handle down the column to copy the values. Now with the values highlighted, hold Alt and press OOD. Click More Options. Check the box next to Display Bar Only. That way the amounts won't show. Click OK. Click OK again. It works much like a bar chart. Data bars work a bit differently if you've got negative values, like in this table. I'll do as before and put the bars in the next column. In E2, type equals D2, press Enter, click E2, drag the fill handle down. With the column highlighted, hold down Alt, press OOD, click More Options. Under Bar Colors, you have Positive and Negative. I'll change the positive to light green. I'll change the fill to color. That way the colors will be solid instead of fading out. Click Display Bar Only. Click OK. Then click OK again. The negative values go in the opposite direction. You can make the column wider to get more contrast. Last, but not least in conditional formatting options, is the icon set. This will place an icon next to amounts depending on their value. To apply an icon set to these numbers, drag and highlight the numbers, then press the conditional formatting icon set button, or use the shortcut. Hold down Alt, press OOI. In this drop-down, you choose the icon set you want to use. There's a wide variety here. They go from sets of three to sets of five. I'll just leave it on the default, three arrows. Now you choose at what point the icons change. It's set at percent. It can be set to a particular value or even a formula. I'll leave it on percent. Now type the percent you want them to change. I'll set the first one at 20 and the second at 70. Click OK. So as you can see, at 2 and 7 the icons change. 
Now here's a table with sales figures. I want red arrows when the figures are below 5,000 and green arrows above 10,000. Drag and highlight B2 to B12. Hold down Alt, press OOI. Type 5,000 in the text box. Then change the drop down to value. Type 10,000 in the next text box. Change the drop down to value. Click OK. And there you have it. The amounts above 10,000 have an up arrow. Amounts between 5,000 and 10,000 have a yellow arrow. And for the rest, a red arrow. A good way to flag data you need to be aware of. Well, that concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching.